Good morning, guys. We are here near the Oh, where is it? <laughs> Near the beautiful Barcelona Cathedral. We're just on our way to the Santa Caterina market right now because we're pretty hungry, but we are on our way to Bar Juan, which is a pretty nice and local tapas bar in the heart of the Santa Caterina market. I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty hungry. Let's go. If you're like sick of the touristiness of La Bocuria, but still want to get like pretty good market feel, head over to Santa Caterina Market. It's like, it's not too far, it's like still in like the set city center, but once you go in, you immediately start to notice like how many more locals there are. Like the shops are almost the same, except it doesn't have as much clout. But yeah, if you know, if you want that local market feel where the locals still go to shop, head over here. Starting off with their meatballs, it looks like it's in a very deep and rich tomato sauce. Mm. Oh my. It's so nice. The sauce as well. Okay, not gonna lie, it's like really similar to this Filipino sauce. I guess this is where we get it from. Like, it's called an estofada sauce. It's very tomatoey. Still like onions, peppers, garlic. Oh, it's like it's really familiar flavors to me, which is why I really like it as well. Oh. Next up, some fried anchovies. Mm. So nice. Like, the batter is really light and not overwhelming, while the fish is like slightly sweet and delicate. Oh wow! I mean, you can't you can't really go wrong with like fri little fried fish, you know. And like the drizzle of lemon just enhances it, like gives it an acidic kick to complement the fattiness and like the sweetness of the fish and the batter. Mm. Mm. Probably the best chorizo I've ever had. It's very like meaty and complex compared to like your typical chorizo. That's very like an intense like peppery flavor. This one's very good very nice and i don't usually like to eat chorizo because of that like intense pepperiness it's like a bit overwhelming for me so this is the one next up is their country sausage it also comes with the pepper but i'll taste it with itself for it mm. that's really nice i believe it's called a sausage chum. and this is like a really perfect breakfast sausage it has a breakfast sausage flavor you gotta taste it with the pepper okay it just looks like a roasted massive green pepper so i'm gonna taste it with the sausage <coughs> oh man like that was a pretty winning combination the, 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 the pepper was like really sweet and roasted and charred there hasn't been a pepper that's disappointed me here in barcelona Next up, some cod in, I think it's a garlic sauce. Like, it's like some, it's, in, it's bathed in some like garlic oil and stuff. So let's taste it. Oh. oh wow, that oil that it's bathed in, it's like intensely garlicky. The cod, sweet and delicate. Oh man, amazing, amazing fish. The texture is like it has a, like it's like tender yet stringy, but also has a nice bite at the same time. Okay, last last dish is also cod, but it comes in a different sauce. It looks like a tomatoey sauce with different vegetables and stuff, and onions and whatnot. Let's let's taste it. Okay. Mm. Oh, wow. The sauce is like a super tomato sauce that is kind of similar to the sauce that the meatballs come in, except with like way more vegetables. Oh wow. It's super comforting. Why there's a bay leaf in here as well, which adds that, that adds that extra flavor. Yeah. This is like hella comfort food, guys. Oh my goodness. Like what a way to start your day. Like with food like this. Actually, I don't know. Like food like this just makes me want to go to sleep because it's so comforting. So I don't know if, like, if it's like the best way to start your day, but it's so good, excellent food all around. Oh, one of the best meals, like for sure, like here in Barcelona, it's a it's a pretty top tier meal. You know, I mean, just when I think like I've had like the best meal here in Barcelona, like the next the, the, the next place just surprises me with 
top tier in food like this. We're only here for like two, two and a half more days, but if, if, if Barcelona has even more to offer than this, I'm super excited. So I'm just gonna cap off this extraordinary meal, just finishing my coffee off, and let's go. So there was this hamon shop that was selling these cold cut scones for one and two euros each. Like I'm sure it's not the best quality or whatnot, but like one or two euros for like these little cones of cold cut goodness. Like I couldn't really resist for like an after bar horn snack. So this one I think is definitely fuet, which is a traditional Catalan sausage. I had it the other day at um, La Boqueria, but let's taste. Oh yeah, yeah, that's good. It's got that cheesy funkiness again. I really like it. Mm, it's pungent. It's porky. It's really nice, it's fatty. Mm. This one looks just like hamon, but like probably not like a really high quality one, but you know, like one euro, man. Mm. I mean, it's still good. Still got that briny, salty flavor. Not the best quality, but what can you do? I still get it, I still eat it. So in the other mystery cone, there were some other cold cuts, which I'm sorry, I'm sorry I have no idea what these are, but. Oh, okay. It's kind of like, a mortadella. I think it's got nuts in it. It's really interesting. It's like sausagey and like luncheon meaty in, in quality. Uh, not in quality, but like in texture. But it's really nice. Quite enjoying this like mystery cone of mystery cold cuts. Not bad. So this other cone looks like some glistening fatty hamon. Like that fatty goodness with all that fatty streaks and oh. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's like pretty bang for your buck for like two euros. Not bad. If you're not really one for like the difference in quality between Bayota, Serrano, and Berico, just get a cone like this. You'll you'll be happy. Oh, I see why it's so cheap now. Mmm. Half of it is plastic. Yeah, boy. So we are currently on our way to Hoffman Bakery. This is our second time going because we just can't get enough of it. And I'm really craving that mascarpone croissant because you know cravings. So yeah, I'm very excited. Let's go. first dog in Barcelona. I'm so happy. Oh, it's so adorable. It just like walked up to us and it kept like circling around us. My heart is full. So here we are at Ciutadella Park. It's so beautiful in here. It's like a stark contrast to the bustling streets of La Rambla. Super quiet, so much greenery, the fresh air, the smell of like the orange trees and the fresh air. Ah, oh, so nice. It's got a, a quite a few really aesthetic buildings as well. There's a guy playing saxophone over there in the distance. You know, it's super beautiful. After you've gone through the city with all the people, all the tourists, all the scammers, everyone, all, all the beauty of the, the buildings, this is a must, you know, if just, just to get that contrast in this beautiful city of Barcelona. I don't know, man, this view with a Hoffman croissant, don't know what could get any better. Perfect, like, park <laughs> snack. Mmm, Barcelona, baby. So, you know, I got the mascarpone croissant. You know, the one that I liked the most the first time we went, and I couldn't wait. I already started because I just can't resist. Uh, just as good as the first time. Just doesn't disappoint. Why can't they have this in Auckland, honestly? No one makes mascarpone croissants. I mean, they do like almond croissants, but I think this needs to be the new thing. So I actually kind of went all in. I got three croissants for myself. Obviously, I'm not going to eat all of them now, but I got the mascarpone, which I'll have later. The chocolate, which I'll have later. But this one is their mango. I'm a pretty big mango fan, so I was pretty interested to see what this tastes like. So let's taste. I just want to take a moment to appreciate the, delic the, the delicateness of the icing that Hoffman puts on the croissants. It's like a super thin shell 
of icing goodness that like encapsulates it perfectly and adds like that that little bit more sweetness that just elevates the croissant to a whole nother level. So finally got to the filling. It's all the way in the middle, but Ooh. Mm. Oh yeah. Ah, uh, that comforting, like sweet, acid, earthy flavor, reminiscent of you know, just like it's like mango. <laughs> it's like mango. It's ma <laughs> It is mango. <laughs> it tastes like mango. Oh wait, it's mango. <laughs> the mango is sweet, acidic, slightly earthy. Uh, it's like it's so well balanced as well. It, oh, this is so nice. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. Mm. Thumbnail. Look, I like how like vibrant the color is. Yeah. Ooh. Whoa. That's like super intense, super tart. Wow, that's quite good. For some reason, I I didn't think I was gonna like it because I'm not really like a fruit person. But this is really nice. Especially, I really like the glaze. It goes along with like the tart jam. Oh, I really like this. So after roaming Shiota Day at Park, I didn't want to eat all my croissants on the spot because I don't want to be too much of a fatty. So we just walked all, walked all the, way, all the way back to the hotel. So I'm just going to finish these off now. It was actually so surprising for me. Like these aren't even your typical or traditional Catalan or Spanish dishes. Yet these are like the two foods that I really enjoyed the most. You know, I'm, I'm a sucker for a good pastry, for a good croissant especially. So, you know. Without further ado, let's dig into the final bites of these beautiful Hoffman croissants. Right, just gonna dig into this chocolate croissant. Oh yeah. Mm. What I love about the filling, especially, is it's not too heavy. It's like a chocolate cream. It's not. It's not like straight up chocolate. It's almost refreshing in a way. It's almost like it's like. It's light, so it doesn't really weigh you down. So you could like eat a trillion of these if you wanted to. Oh man, I don't know. Would a glaze make it better? Because it's one of the only croissants that doesn't have a glaze. So I'm just wondering, you know. I wonder. But you know, I trust Hoffman. If they didn't put any glaze, I'm not gonna mess with it. Well, I think my sister already said it best a while ago when she had the mascarpone croissants at Shia Today Park. But these these are the final few bites of Hoffman in at least a few years. I don't know when I'll ever be back here. Kind of a sad moment just thinking about it. These delectable croissants. So I'm gonna savor it, and these are my final few bites. Oh man, I wish I didn't have to do. Ah. Uh, anyway, friends, I think that'll just do for today's video. We started the day off at Bar Juan at Santa Catarina Market. I cannot recommend it enough. One of the best meals I've had in Barcelona. Every item was amazing. Also, like I said, if you're sick of the uh, the touristy vibes that La Bocaria brings, go to Santa Catarina instead. Like, I guess if you're gonna go to like Pinocho Bar, um, uh, Kiosco Universal or El, El Kim de Bocaria, like those in institutions in La Bocaria, like go ahead. I'll definitely go back to those as well. But if you're just gonna be there for like, you know, your jamon, your cheeses, your typical market foods, I definitely recommend hitting up Santa Catarina Market instead. It's much quieter, there's more locals, so you get to know like the, the local side of Barcelona. Then just return to good old reliable Hoffman Patisserie um, for some amazing croissants. Uh, can, I cannot stress enough how much me and my sister love those croissants. And anyway, I think that'll do for today's video. Um, it was a pretty fun day. We've got two more days here left in Barcelona before we head over to Venice, which I'm very excited about. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and see you guys on the next one. Come on. Oh yeah, I'll take the bomb. The bomb is hot. I'm already laughing. <laughs> Ooh, wee, my INFJ 1% elegance. Mm. I mean. <laughs>